Hey everyone, Christopher Beast here, and in today's video I will be reviewing everything that was covered today in DevStream 69. Um, today we were joined by Forsythia, Votep, and Philip. The main focus of this dev stream was on the tomato fight mode, as well as some other minor intricate details. So without any further delay, let's just get right into it. To start off, they announced the brief return of Tomato Fight that occurred today. They ran it for two separate blocks, the first one starting at 13 o'clock UTC and ending at 17 o'clock UTC. The second is going to run from 23 o'clock UTC to 23.59, basic midnight UTC. I unfortunately got on my Xbox around 18 o'clock, so I wasn't really able to play in the earlier block. I just missed it, so I don't have any footage of Tomato Fight mode. Though I intend on trying to play in that second block, I really do enjoy Tomato Fight mode, um, and I, I know that a lot of other people do, so this was a nice decision by the devs. Um, to quickly give an opinion here though, I think they should have just ran the mode all day. It is limited, and it isn't usually able to be played, so doing so would have really helped people who have difficult schedules or live in time zones that made those time blocks awkward. Um, and I understand a lot of players don't like this mode, but a lot of players also don't like shootout in Elim, and we don't exactly remove those from the rotate. So, I mean, removing one encounter map for a day I don't think would have been too bad, but I think they know a little bit better about what player retention looked like for this mode. Um, following this, though, Votek, who helped design Tomato Fight, he explained the process behind making it and why they made it. Um, explaining it was part of a desire to make Snowball Fight available year-round. I remember that this was something partners talked a lot about, that wanting of making Snowballs available year-round. Um, I'm a little sad to not see more praise behind Tomato Fight Mode from other partners who really did uh, put a lot of vocal support behind an idea like this when Snowballs was dropped in December. Um, but they went deeper into it, uh, going more into the intricate details of, you know, some of the Q&A stuff and the difficulties of changing it. Um, Chad then stated they want the tomatoes to be a one-shot. I don't really agree with this opinion, um, but someone else said they would like it if being hit with a tomato would leave a red swash on your stream, which all the devs seem to be in agreement with. Um, next up on the stream, they talked about the Vigor survey. This is a survey running from August 26th to September 11th. This survey is quite important to the devs. Um, this is an opportunity for the devs to understand the players with a greater degree of detail, and it is also going to probably be giving out a reward to the players who participate. I, I think it is very important that we all try and participate in this survey if we're able to, um, simply because surveys like this are how we get quantitative data in massive scales, and quantitative data like that can allow the game to truly go in the direction the community wants. So if you're someone who feels like your, your opinion is being ignored, you can't not take this survey and then cry when your opinion is ignored. Like, I'm sorry, take the survey if you want your opinion to be heard. And if your opinion isn't really listened to even after the survey, then maybe your opinion isn't the majority opinion. Um, and that does need to be a consideration that we look into when we start looking at the results of the survey, should they publish it. Um, but that's all I really got for you guys today. It was a cool stream for being the week after the anniversary stream, because frankly, I wasn't expecting anything. Um, and it had a lot more info. It was actually a fun watch. The chat for once, which I usually complain about in these videos, wasn't horrible. Honestly, I didn't mind it for the first time in months. So well done to the community um, this week for, for not being repeating the exact same questions over and over and over again and expecting different answers um, like they usually are. But this has been Christopher Beast. Hope to see you all next time. And uh, ciao.